Being recorded from my, uh, this phone call is being recorded from my protection. Uh, again, I just got hung up on to someone, whoever you transferred it to. Who did you transfer it to? Okay, I'm trying to transfer it to detective. Who, who oh, what, what, detective, uh, detective uh, what? Uh, Robichaud. Robichaud? Uh, it's probably something with the phone, it's not working. Okay, no, they picked up and I said, are you, can you hear me? I can hear you. And then they waited a second and they hung up the phone. I could actually hear the phone hanging up. So, um, okay. yeah. I'm going to put you on hold then. See if that works. Thank you. Thank you for holding. We look forward to talking with you soon. Please hold the line and we'll be right back with you. Thanks for holding. We appreciate your time and patience. Please stay on the line, and we'll be back in just a moment. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Detective Robichaud. How are you? Uh, I'm okay. Thank you, Detective. Um, my name is Robert Tangway. Um, this is being recorded. Uh, for my okay. safety. Um, so yep. I was just hung up on uh, twice, but whatever that may be, let's get past that. So here's the deal. I've been dealing with uh, the abuse of my children and myself for over a year now. And um, I have everything put together and it's at the court. Um, and we also have the administrator of the court saying that if there is any type of uh, malfeasance in the court, then you certainly should go to the police. I am at the police now. All these records are at the police um, and where there's fraud and human trafficking. So in your possession, you have a impossible, fraudulent, known false domestic violence protection order, civilly, never arrested and such. And then there's also an order from the court asked for by the attorney in which they have ordered me to violate the protection order in which you must immediately arrest. And therefore, I have not seen my children in over a year and they haven't seen me out of nowhere. It is illegal. And you said that's an active DVP right now? Yes, they re-extended it. Not only was it fraudulent, but they re-extended it and sent it to you. Again, okay, the fraud. What is, your, what is your date of birth? So I'm going to try to look this up. Thank you. You said they re-extended it? Yep, on fraud. Without changing the order. So if you read when one... Was this, Go ahead. When was this re-extended? Um, in January. I think they applied in... in Late November, early December of 23. Okay. And then um, there was a hearing, which was not proper, in which they were told over and over again. They know that it is illegal what they're doing, but Do they're you just... Do know who it was that filed it? Yes. Your aunt Heidi Ames. Her attorney, Heidi Wait, Ames, filed you're, it. You're cutting out a little bit. Who, who did you say it was? Yep. An attorney, Heidi Ames. Her attorney so filed it. The only DVP I see from that person um, shows the case was dismissed. So the, the DVP is not active anymore. And when was that? In 2022. No, that's me. That's, that's me filing against her. Okay. It says, yeah, that's the only one I'm seeing on here. I don't see any um, that are against you. Uh, I would check again because you guys gave me a copy of it. Let's see. And it was in 2022 as well? Yes, December 13th. Oh, November 30th, okay. 2022. It was filed. Okay, I think 
I just found that one. Okay. Uh, 2022. You have, a, you have a parenting case to open? Um, it's at Supreme Court right now. So I'm writing a motion for contempt because she's been lying. They're abusing my children, and I've tried to report this. I've read the entire criminal statute and the laws over and over again, and I've spoken. I'm very well researched. They're committing fraud. They're going to get in trouble, but the police need to file a warrant for their arrest, and you guys need to come to the Manchester, I'm sorry, yeah, the Manchester Family Court and see that's the scene of the crime. And see, and whether you guys have to work with the state police, the attorney general, it's not up to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what what crime are you trying to report? Human trafficking by abuse of the legal process. 633-7. And okay. also uh, the fraudulent statements, whatever else may be in there. Harassment and child abuse. It's It needs to stop. So you believe your ch children are being abused? They're being abused emotionally by being kept unlawfully, unlawfully away from me, which is a form of abuse. I don't think that they're physically being hurt. They're just being emotionally abused. And there's a famous case called Miller v. Todd where it shows false allegations are just as, uh, and that's in the New Hampshire Supreme Court, false allegations are just as bad as the actual abuse itself. So what I'm saying is, I'm trying to simplify it. <clears throat> they know that that protection order that was approved is physically and mathematically impossible. She does not have a sliding glass door. I did not initiate 1100 texts. And then also, which could be possible, but is not true. And I have additional evidence. She is not in fear of me. She's been hiding it in conjunction with her ex-boyfriend, which is Windham Police Officer Daniel Dahl. Mm -hmm. So, I have text. I have printouts of the daycare. And she called me after the protection order was released. There is a tremendous amount that's involved in this case. But it needs to stop now because I just got a letter from my son, who's eight, a card saying he misses me more than anything. And I can't write back to him. And I've told the court this. The lawyer knows. So how can we get an officer to come to the Manchester police? I mean, sorry, Manchester um, court. So that they can see the evidence. Because last time a cop went, a Detective O'Mara, or he's not even a detective, he didn't get the information, then they gave him the information. And then he refused to contact me back. And so I'm, I'm so, saying... Go ahead. Sorry. So right now, what I'm reading is that there's a final order in mm -hmm. December of 2024 mm -hmm. where she has custody of the kids. And it's a court order. So yep. That's probably why you're not able to do that. No. Well, but, so if you look at... I'm not... Yes, you are correct. I'm not able to see them because they have a fraudulent order with fraud on it, physically and mathematically impossible findings of fact. They That's the same order that you're seeing. If you look at the findings of fact, that's the fraud. And then it orders me to not have contact with her at all. And then if you read 173B, it says that I cannot and that proper procedure is to change the order. So you have a resubmitted order, which I told them they need to change the order because it's illegal and they still did it because they don't want to confront the fact that they lied. They got caught lying and the judge wrote fraud. So there's an order in the family court that's telling me and then they held me in contempt for not using our family wizard and not meeting the kids at the police station where she admitted to going there which would put me within 300 feet, which would be a violation of the protection order. And you, as the police station, police officers 173B, says specifically, you are to read the order exactly as done. The proper procedure was would be for them to change the order, which would also open up the fraud again, and instead they've been burying it. So, so we have no control over the court order. That's 
I, I know you don't. And you, 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 no, no, I, no, no. So you are 100% wrong. You have a duty to take report of this, gather evidence and conclude it. You are looking at evidence. All that's missing is the court order of contempt that's ordering me, which is human trafficking by a abuse of the legal process, compelling me to perform a service or labor. And that's human trafficking in a form of domestic violence. And because these are fraudulent court, orders, court order. it, it's not a, it doesn't matter. If a court orders me to jump off a bridge, that's not a legal order. But this one specifically is in violation of 173B. And they have been told it's in violation of 173B. So the Attorney General does not investigate anything besides police misconduct. So if you guys don't investigate it, that would be police misconduct. You are incorrect in your statement that you... Okay, I'm not sure exactly what, what point you're trying to get across right now. Because you, you, it's a court order. Mm -hmm. You can't go next to her or be next to the kid. Yep. And then there's so another court there's order. There's nothing that I can do as far as the court order. You have to go I, to the court to no, get it revised. No. You can't go through your lawyer. So you're saying if a court order for a judge said you're a bleepity bleep 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 which would be harassment, really okay. repulsive. Well, this is specifically a domestic violence order, so I have no control over that. I know you have no control. I know you have no control over the order. They have control over the order. However, right. See, however, 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 so I don't need it. I don't need it changed. I don't need it changed. We're making a report of human trafficking, 633 colon 7. Are you preventing me what, from... What human, what human trafficking are you reporting? I'm reporting forced i'm i'm being compelled i'm being compelled to service or labor by abuse of the legal process you're the, saying that you are yes by a court order yes and the court order is at the court the court order is not the court order that you're looking at you're looking at the fraudulent order so that's also fraud you have to report that so that's a fraudulent impossible order and it's material so it's, so it's not that doesn't mean it, that. That's what makes it fraud. No, the statements are fraudulent. So let's get back to the human trafficking, so you can understand it. If you pull up six thirty three colon seven, you'll see that section three says abuse of the legal system. The abuse of the legal system is that they are ordering me to violate the protection order that you're looking at, and then have held me in contempt. And then I have written affidavits saying this is against the law and showing them the law, yet they still violated it. And they did that because I wouldn't communicate directly with her. The law 173B says explicitly the only way to change is to modify that protection order. You just admitted, by the way, you're being recorded again. You just admitted that you have a protection order. The protection order you have is an extension, an exact replication of the initial protection order, which has fraud on it, and also has the same exact requirements, which I can't talk to her. I can't see my and children. So you think it's fraud, the statements that they made? It's I I, I, I know it's fraud. I don't think it's fraud. It is. They know it's fraud, too. They know it's false, too, okay, and they have so failed to correct it. their statements are fraud, so that's something you have to bring up through the court system. No. It is a crime. You have to apply for a warrant. You have to investigate, apply for a warrant, and then arrest them. That is your duty. They, it is known that it is false. She admitted in court again that she, for the extension, that she does not have a sliding glass door. And then the judge's handwriting shows that I did not initiate 1100 texts with the evidence that they submitted. I did not initiate 1,100 texts. This is not discretionary. The judge the judge can make discretionary opinions. I don't like Robert Tangway. I don't like, uh, you know, Detective uh, Robichaud, right? They can say that. I just don't, I, I don't think she's polite. And that's not fraud if she believes it. And how do you prove that she doesn't? However, I can prove, and she knows, 
because the evidence that they submitted was a text log which showed reciprocal texts, none of them equaling 1,100 texts a month. So I didn't initiate 1,100 texts any month. They were reciprocal. And anyways, reciprocal texts are not a crime. It's not harassment. Harassment would be ex excessively coarse language, swearing, yelling, screaming, or calling at extremely inconvenient hours, which none of that happened. They lied on the order and failed to correct it, which is a crime. You have to arrest, and I have the administrative court saying on record at the state legislator, I'm sorry, the lawyer for the administrative courts, saying that the proper procedure is to definitely go to the police and make a report. So I'm making a report right now, and you guys need to come in, and you need to investigate. We need to go to the Manchester police and actually look at the evidence, because that is the scene of crime. I'm sorry, the Manchester family court with the Manchester police, or the state troopers as well, because it's a state property, so that's where the jurisdiction lies. And then look at the evidence, and you will see that they know, signed affidavit, and they are conveying the fraud. They show, sent an order, and then there's an order that's telling me to break that protection order that you have. And then there's a signed document by me saying, you are ordering me to violate the protection order in which the police must immediately arrest. You have no discretion. But you have a domestic violence petition against you currently. Right. That's unconstitutional, by the way, and that's at the Supreme Court. But the what? matter at 173B is unconstitutional, right on the accused, Article 15. You have to read the Constitution as an officer of the law because the Constitution is the supreme law. And it says that Article 101, the last, says that it is the supreme law of the land and it is attached to all law books. You have to follow the Constitution and the laws that are in. Okay. So that's why you'd have to arrest me. Right. So I will pass this on to our domestic violence unit then. No, 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 no. They, they're the ones who are the problem. No. Nope, 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 nope. We need to. When is a police officer going to come out? I'm filing a report. When is a police officer going to come to the Manchester Family Court and look at the evidence and then file for a warrant? No, that would be through the court. Yes, the police officer has to write an affidavit and then bring it to the courts and file it and apply for a warrant. Yes, that is correct. At the courts are the evidences that is the actual evidence that they know and they have it on record that they know that the orders are false and that they are against the law. Hence the 633,7 human trafficking. By abuse of the legal process. So, Detective <coughs> Robichaud, do you have a special investigatory unit? Not domestic violence. Do you have a special investigatory unit? Who handles fraud, perjury? Who handles that? Yes, I can forward that to them. They're not on current. Well, I understand. There's no one working with that unit. They I understand. To forward this information <clears throat> who, would, who would that contact be? I, I appreciate that, but who would that, con who would that be? I don't know specifically who it would be assigned to, but I can so I'm going to forward it to that unit, and then they'll assign someone, and they can give you a call. Okay. Are you working tomorrow? No. Okay. When are you working next? Because I have to check in with you to make sure if I don't get a call back. I'm I, Like, look it. It's not your fault. This isn't your fault. But I've been dealing with this in my okay, children. So you I don't want to talk to the domestic violence unit. We already went over it. There's a special investigations unit, not domestic okay. violence unit. Okay, for which, which type of crime? For fraud. And okay. these are complex uh, crimes. These I aren't Officer Doofy that. crimes. So, how... Okay. No, I No, no, not okay. I don't understand. Pardon me if I'm slow. 
So I, I already told you that we're not going to the domestic violence unit. That we're not dealing with this. Yes, so you so, call in and ask to speak with the detective that deals with the fraud, and I'll that, forward it to them. They can look into it. Yeah, but that's not the domestic they violence unit. Tomorrow because it's Monday. Right, I understand. Okay, so what is the unit called? I can't, I'm not going to go through this again. I've been on the phone for 18, 19 minutes right now. I'm not going through this again. We're moving forward with this. So, I've already explained to you. Call in, you ask for general investigations in reference to a fraud. They're gonna, and then they'll forward it to whatever detective committee works it. General, not special investigations? So who are you sending it to? You just told me you're going to send general it to. Okay, so do you have my information? Yes. What, what's my phone number? The dispatchers have it, and we should have it on file as well. Okay, so All right. are you going to send that out? You're going to send it out? You're going to take action? Because I'm going to hold... When are you on next? Because I'm telling you, they're just going to run me around. Detective Robichard, you have a duty, Okay. To follow this through. So when are you on next? Because they're going to run that me around. That is irrelevant to this. Okay, this is in regards... Do you have any other questions? Yes. When I need to follow up with this, okay? Right, and you can you can call in to follow up with it. Okay. So it's just tomorrow because... Most and so tomorrow so what, do you, what are you sending them? That's my question. What are you sending them? Uh, you had concerns about fraudulent... Uh, And uh, what's the statute for human trafficking? I know this. Listen, is that is that all you need? Is that is that it? So, what's the statute for human trafficking? Do okay, you know? It? So I'm not doing this this game of circles. This, if it's that's not, all you need, then I'm, I'll forward the message. It, it's not a game of circles. You don't. You're not writing a message. You're forwarding nothing. You didn't even mention human trafficking by abuse of the legal system. Because you don't understand the law, you're, okay, you're a detective. I'm going to forward the message. You can have a good night, all right? The, it's 633 colon 7. Okay.